it's uh, been a crazy few days. Wow, let me tell you, just wow. Wow. <laughs> Uh, I did have a video filmed for you, but I can't use that video anymore because of reasons. So I am having to film a new video for you guys, but that's okay. That's cool. Let's have fun with that. Um, I'm currently sat with this hot water bottle because I'm in a new place. It's freezing cold. And the reason it's freezing cold, even though I have plenty of heating, is because I don't know how to work the boiler system. So there's... There's no heating on in the flat just now, it's freezing. Um, it's been a crazy few days, let me tell you, it really, really has. I, I had to move out of my marital home and I was temporarily homeless. I had a sofa to sleep on and then I, I got this place I'm in now, which is super awesome, but the rent is just, it's half my wages. There's no way I can stay here. So now I'm gonna have to move out of here again and I'm currently trying to find somewhere to live that is pet friendly. Let me tell you, there is like almost zero places that are pet friendly. So that's definitely adding a new challenge to the mix. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know if I'm coming or going. Like, I don't know what's going on. And it's so cold. Um, it's just, it's really cold. So today I'm supposed to be going to shoot the music video. Um, I... I did record some footage for um, this, like talking about this, but I can't find the footage anymore. Basically, I collaborated with a local rapper um, and we did a song together and today we're going to go and um, film the music video for it. So I think I, I have like, I filmed two clips introducing that I was doing this project. Um, and the first clip, the original one that I filmed introduced it, is missing I don't know where that's gone I do have the second clip which I'll insert here another week down another weekend and this is the second weekend I'm gonna be meeting Connor to go over our music collab track together this time I'm alone my mum is not with me and also this time I'm in my type R because it's been up for sale for a while now and my daily the Abarth which is like over here gets used daily hence the daily and this one's not really getting driven that much and I want to just put I don't really want to put miles on her as such but I just want to give her like a good run because she's just been sitting for a little while and obviously that's not good to just leave them sitting doing nothing so yeah we're in the type R today as usual for everything I am running late and I need to go get fuel so I'm away to go do that and then head into the city to meet Connor and work on our music track together. Okay guys, <laughs> let's go! So yeah, today I'm going to be going to film the music video with um, this person and I'm really excited about that. I'm looking forward to it. It should be really, really fun. And then I, I don't really know what else I'm going to do. I still have to do my makeup, obviously. I have to find an outfit to wear for this music video. Um... Yeah, yeah, life's been cray cray, pretty cray cray. Um, I'll give you all like a life update at a later date. I feel like there was a lot of dates there, which I won't be going on anytime soon because I am fed up of men, okay? Fed up. Anyway, um, yeah, peace out. So I've done my makeup for the shoe. I don't know why, but whenever I look in the viewfinder there, I look like really overexposed. <sighs> my face looks so white, but actually there's so much bronzer on here. It's ridic. Um, I've tried to turn the ring light ambient temperature down to make it like more orange so that my face looks less. Nope, that's not what I'm trying to do. Oh wow, this is going great. So that my face looks less um, white. I think that's a bit better, right? I think so. Um, so yeah, I've done my makeup. The only thing I have left to do is my lipstick and I cannot decide on a color yet. So my jacket that I'm gonna be wearing is going to be bright baby pink. And uh, so that's why I kind of did like this pink eye here. 
Um, I don't know if it's probably mascara like up here, but I just wait until it dries to pick it off. But yeah, so that's why I went for this pink eyeshadow look because I feel like it will match in well with my pink jacket. Um, I can't decide if I want to go for a neutral lip or if I want to go like really bold and in your face and crazy hot pink. So um, my makeup box with my lipsticks is down here. That's why I'm looking down here. Um, so yeah, I can't decide if I want to go like really pink i mean this matches the color of my jacket so i mean that's cool and all but then i don't know if that's like check yourself before you wreck yourself territory um and if i should maybe just go for something really nude um like for instance for example i cannot find a nude lipstick now that i'm looking for one um maybe like this one no that looks that looks purple in the viewfinder but it's not oh gosh I don't know. <laughs> Help me decide. Help me. You know, I could always try it out and then if it looks ridiculous, I could always take it off and then just put more on a different color. Let's do that. Let's do that. Okay, so this is the jacket that I'm gonna be wearing. I'm actually wearing my pajamas right now and no, I will not be wearing that in the video. I just kind of wanted to get an idea of what this lipstick looks like with this jacket. Um, I just, I don't know. I really, I can't decide how I feel about it. Like, sometimes I'm feeling it and then other times I'm just like, mm, no, it's not working out. Maybe, maybe it's my hair. Like, maybe if my hair was a different style, this would work better. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> So, uh, mm, I forgot what I was going to say. So I am almost ready to go and head into the city to shoot this video. I have most of the stuff. I've got tripods. I've got my, oh my gosh, what is it called? It's like a DJI Osmo jig, jiggy McThee. It's a, yeah, it makes cinematic shots. I can't remember the name of it. Um, so I have one of those that's on charge, I have spare batteries, I have tripods, monopods, um, yeah, I think I have everything, I have the SD card, there's my jacket for the photo shoot, the pink one in the background there, ah, it's so cool, <laughs> unlike me, um, but yeah, I'm so excited because I'm almost ready to go, mm. It looks a bit uh, crappy outside. The weather's a bit dull and overcast. I'm hoping that when I get to the city, it's a lot brighter and that it's not cold. But if it is, it's okay because that jacket is warm. I really hope it doesn't rain because my hair is going to look a hot mess. So it's moving day today. Again, yeah, I feel like I just finished moving everything into this place. And I'm now having to move everything back out again. So that's gonna be really, really fun because I'm having to move everything myself. There's a lot of heavy items that I'm having to haul upstairs and downstairs by myself. Um, so I, it wasn't fun getting it up here, getting it back down is not going to be fun. And then I have to get it set up in the new place. And yeah, also my hair is a mess because it really needs a wash. But uh, the stuff for washing my hair, like my hair dryer and everything and straighteners and all that is at the other place. And I am at this place, if you can keep track of that. Um, so I can't wash my hair right now. Plus, you know, I'm too busy moving house um, to, to wash my hair right now. So you're just gonna have to deal with the fact that it's a bit like straggly and mess, a bit like my life really. <laughs> laugh or you'll cry oh gosh um so yeah it's I just I'm not looking forward to today there's so much to do so much to do um but in about 20 minutes time I'm doing a video call with my friend from New Zealand so um that's I'm really looking forward to that that's exciting that's definitely a positive for the day something to hold on to um and amongst all this crappy situation that's going on there is that good thing and I'm really excited for that phone call um yeah so that that's what I'm doing today I am moving house again to temporary accommodation again 
ugh, like I just I just want a home you know I just want a place that is my home that I know I'm not going to have to leave again in a short space of time that I can just make my own and I can just somewhere I can just feel safe you know because like in this situation I just feel unsettled and I feel very um insecure and unsafe and I just want somewhere that I can just call home close the door and just know this is home so yeah i guess that's everything i've got to say for now but stay tuned because the video is not ending here <laughs> that's me just taking the first load of stuff up to my new accommodation and dropped it off and i've come back to the flat to pick up the last of my stuff some boxes in the back there for storing my things in and then once i've done this last trip I'm just going to pretty much set up the new place that I'm in and then tomorrow I'll come back here and I'll clean this place up for handing it back to the council. So uh, yeah, I'm really hungry. I am so hungry and I want to eat something but I am aware that time is not on my side right now and I have a lot to get done. So I'm just going to have to wait to eat. Excellent, excellent fun. gave me look at this look it's actually hanging off the wall because that's safe well this is just typical i'm in the middle of moving house and suddenly there is a thunder and lightning storm that just came out of nowhere like it was so sunny it was so bright and all of a sudden there's a thunder and lightning storm and it's chucking it down with rain all my things are going to get wet so I'm stuck here until it passes. I've packed up my toilet roll and my hand soap and I really need to pee. <sighs> All my worldly belongings in this car. Great, moving day again. So today is a pretty crappy day. I don't even want to go. I can't even call it home because it's not my home. I don't even want to go back to the temporary accommodation I'm staying at. I finished work today and I forgot that I don't live at my old house anymore. And I got in my car and I was ready to drive to my old house and then I remembered that I don't live there anymore. And then I remembered everything. Today's not a good day. I'm seriously contemplating just packing up everything and leaving the country. There is no reason for me to stay here anymore. I can take the cats with me. I'm not happy with my life and not just talking about like the current situation that's going on but other aspects of my life that I was not happy with before all this happened and I'm still not happy with them and having them on top of everything that I'm dealing with I just I want to go I, I want to leave the country I want to disappear and I don't want to say a word. I want to just sort everything that needs to be sorted here, book a plane ticket and leave without telling anybody when I'm leaving or that I'm thinking of leaving, except from like you guys that I've told just now, but, and nobody will know that I'm missing. 
until maybe months later. And by then I'll be in my new life. Sounds pretty good about now. Wow, that kind of ended on a bit of a sucky note, huh? Um, listen, that day was the last day that I cried. I have cried no more tears since then. I drew a line in the sand and I have moved on. And don't worry about me because I am happy now. I am happy with my life and how it is going. I, I'm in a good place, okay? And I no longer want to leave the country and start a new life somewhere else. Um, and by the way, excuse the mess of this bedroom. I know it looks really, really bad. That's because I basically have an entire house's worth of things in one room. One room, guys. An entire house's worth of things in one room. And I, I have no space for everything. It's, it is what it is, okay? But listen, listen. Don't worry about me, okay? I'm not sad, I, I, I'm not crying anymore. Like I said, that was the last day that I cried. I'm in a good place. You can probably tell I have new hair, you know, new hair, new me, new life, cliche after cliche after cliche. But seriously, I am doing it so good. Um, and I just kind of wanted to end this on a positive note rather than end it on a negative note. So yeah, don't worry about me, I'm doing good, okay? I, I'm still homeless but I'm doing good. <laughs> okay, bye.